Right, so this is an interesting one. <clears throat> when people have back pain, one of the biggest issues of all is muscle spasm. In fact, it's probably the, one of the biggest pains that, that exists, and yet it's a reaction to the underlying problem, often an overprotective reflex where the body basically thinks, worst case scenario, we've broken the spine, we need to make sure we stabilize it, brace it so it doesn't move, which is like a hunter-gatherer's evolved response. Um, the trouble is, is that unless you've broken your back, you need to move it. You want to move it. It's going to help you to get better. So obviously this bracing effect is not good. The pain from it is very high. It's very limiting and it's not the right approach that we want. So we want to get the muscles to relax and therefore movement to restore, which helps people to get back functionally and their pain to resolve and so on and so forth. So one of the things that's used quite a lot is diazepam, uh, which is basically a muscle relaxant. Um, and again, you think, well, yeah, people go on this and they get all drowsy and stuff and they do relax the muscles and they do feel a bit better. But what was interesting is there was a research paper done where they compared it to a placebo of diazepam, so a fake diazepam, and compared it to the real thing. And they found that the placebo was equally as effective as the actual diazepam. So again, it's so interesting that the mind can really actually be the key to all of this. It's not about the necessary drug itself, it's about how you think about the drug and what you think it's gonna do for you. So your anticipation or expectation of what's gonna occur is often what then occurs. So again, does this mean that we shouldn't take diazepam? I don't know, but it is an interesting one. You know, it could well be that we just need to, you know, try and get people to think differently, behave differently, uh, you know, try and think more positively, try and just get them to move, and maybe the drugs aren't necessarily always needed, um, but it is there as an option, of course, you know? But it was really interesting because you just think, well, surely muscles relaxing, it does its job, and it does, but no better than a fake one. So another interesting research paper. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one, and I'll see you next time.